so I originally wanted to do a video reviewing these two bags, but I ran out of time and I want to return the bag that I'm not going to keep before I get charged for it. And I just wanted to make a quick video for anyone who might be between these two bags deciding whether or not which one is better for them. If you want to know every single individual spec that these bags have to offer, go check out Peak Design's website, go check out the Amazon descriptions, and I'll point out a few of them. And the ones I'm going to be pointing out are the, the ones that really were the reasons why I decided to keep the one I did. So let's go ahead and get into it. So right here we have the 220 liter bags. You have the everyday pack that has the mag latch feature at the top, which I still have a hard time opening and has this extra compartment, so to say. With this bag, you kind of only have the zipper system that lets you in there. And while you can set the zipper up at the top to kind of let you open it from the top there, you don't have that uh, convenience of being able to just quickly access it like you do with this bag. Again, if you have the dividers in, this will only let you into whatever top portion that you decide to have the divider up at. My divider is way low, so it gives a big space at the top there. I don't have anything in these bags for the sake of doing this video, but what I'm using my bags for is really just a camera bag and to carry my laptop in and maybe a couple, a couple little accessories. I don't have a ton of lenses. I don't have a drone. I don't have a lot of extra stuff that I need to carry around, so I didn't need the 30 liter bag, and that's why I was kind of torn between these two. With this one that does not have the mag latch, you have two dividers. This one comes with three. Um, as you can see, when you open them both up, the one that's full zipper without the top latch attachment opens completely. And this one's held together by the top and you can't really open it up wide how you do with this one. Honestly, it kind of feels a little messy and I don't ever see myself really opening it all the way like this. There may be some cases where I might need to, but I think having everything segmented with the dividers, you know, will take care of having to like search for everything. And since I'll have a place for everything and everything in its place, I won't have to be opening my bag up like this to get into everything. I can see this feature being handy, um, but I also don't think it's it's kind of like the deal breaker for me. I don't mind that this spot doesn't open up like that one does. And I think if I really wanted to get, you know, everything in that bag, I can still do it with this one. I was really torn whether or not I wanted this top part and this easy access to with the mag latch feature, really because the only other differences on this bag is that this one comes with three dividers, this one comes with two, and this one has four cord hooks, and this one has two cord hooks. I don't really see much difference between the two bags. They have all the same inner compartments here. You have the, the zipper compartment here with a couple dividers there. You have another zipper compartment in this bag with a couple dividers there, and then the same thing here same exact zipper and dividers and on this end you have the same exact zippers and dividers and at the top you have a little a little uh, pocket that has a nice little magnet that keeps it closed when you when you uh, have stuff in there so it doesn't fall out same thing on this bag again the insides of the bags are very similar this one has a pocket here with a zipper on the inside of the bag and I believe this one does as well um, and this one actually doesn't actually. Okay, so this one doesn't have that, but it does have a pouch here, which looks to be about the same size as this pouch. It does not have a zipper, um, but you can see it's, it, if I had to guess, it's almost the exact same size as this pouch with the zipper. And then, you know, there's, there's kind of a fold here. This is the pocket that, that you have on the back end where you put your 13 inch or 15 inch laptop. There's kind of like two different little dividers, a, a couple Velcro pieces here that you can, you know, move around to fit different size laptops and whatnot, and which was a little tricky when I tried to first put my laptop in here and I, I couldn't figure out how to get my 15 inch MacBook Pro in there. Um, but yeah, and then you have two, two little pockets here and kind of a little pouch there. And there, there's a lot of extra storage on the outside, you have the two pockets here as well. And again, this kind of the same exact thing for this bag. You have 
the same setup in here, same pouch, two pockets, and then your laptop space with the Velcro and the extra pockets underneath it. And I pointed out the, the side pouches here. This has the side pouches there. And really, it's really, really uh, the same bag. This one also has like a little pouch here to hide the cords. Um, I don't know if you can use it for anything else. It really just looks like it's, it's meant to hide those. If you look here, I'll show the zipper uh, feature that it has. And you can see, that you can zip it all the way from the bottom here and all the way up. So you can zip it like every every direction. You know, you can zip it like that. So if you if you're wearing your backpack on your back and you sling it around one arm and you bring it in front of you like this, then you can like grab one of the zippers, open it up, get in your bag and and go about your business. Um, but you can do that with this one. This one has that same functionality and it has the same side zipper. You just can't unzip the top. Uh, so which one did I decide to keep? I will be sending back this one. I really like the mag latch feature. I, I like that it comes with the extra divider and I also like that it has the extra two uh, cord hooks, which, you know, for $50 more, it does seem like, all right, well, the bags kind of do the same thing are you really paying 50 bucks for this quick access mag latch and you know the extra divider? And in the long run, I'm gonna have this bag for a while. And if I spend that extra $50 now, I'll probably be more happy with it. And if I end up buying this one and save the $50 and say like, all right, well, I don't really need that. I'll always be wondering whether or not it would have been a better bag and more convenient for me to have this. And I also like that it gives a little bit extra room since it does open up like this and you can latch it at the very top, meaning that you could pack this bag full with stuff and you kind of get this extra space here. It does kind of open up and unfold. You, you don't have that with this bag. You almost get a tiny bit more space with this one. I don't know if they can market it as that, but it definitely feels that way that, you know, just being able to put a few more things in this one, Having that quick access to the mag latch, having the extra divider was enough for me to make the decision to keep this one and to send this one back. I feel like I'm already buying an expensive bag. I might as well spend the extra 50 bucks and get the bag that I know that I'm going to be happy with, get the bag that I know has the few extra features that I think that I will use and enjoy and like more and not get the bag that I feel like it's lacking and I would feel like I, you know, should have spent the extra money and got the one that I really wanted. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the one that I really want. Again, I did a little bit of research. I didn't spend a ton of time researching every single camera bag. I took a recommendation from a fellow YouTuber, Cody, and he told me that he has this Peak Design bag and that's the one he uses for his camera. And I, you know, I, I looked around and I saw that there were a lot of bags out there and Peak Design seems to be a really good company. The bags are obviously very well made. They put a lot of attention to detail on every little feature and thing that they add into this bag. And I really honestly think that I'll be very happy with this bag in the long run. And given that I have a, a really nice camera now and need to make sure that when I do travel around with it, it's, it's safe, I wanted to make sure I didn't skimp out and get a cheap bag that you know eventually might end up costing me a lot of money because you spend a little extra money now to make sure you have a good bag and your camera and gear is safe when you're traveling or when you're hiking or whatnot because you know this is waterproof and there there is a lot of thick padding and these dividers are really nice these flex dividers are super awesome so eventually i'll probably do a follow-up i'll probably do like a bag review really i just wanted to make this video in case anyone is between the two bags and wanted to kind of take a closer look at them you know um reviews aren't my strong suit but if it helps someone out there um make the choice cool and i'll leave links in the description down below if you want to check any of these bags out and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time